Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install this iFlight Blitz 1600 milliwatt VTX onto your flight controller and onto your drone frame. In my previous videos guys, I have already told you how to install the ESC and your flight controller and how to install the motors onto your drone frame. In addition to that guys, also on my channel, I have already done a detailed review of this drone frame Rooster 230 and also told you how to assemble this. If you have not seen those videos guys, I will put the link of the videos above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we can start soldering things, let me walk you through the pin diagram and tell you how to install this VTX. As you know guys, here on my flight controller, I have a pad for 9V that is going to be used to power my VTX. So 9V and ground and then you have a video output that will go on to the video input of my VTX guys. And then you have here pin T2, which is my IRC pin connection or my smart audio so as to transmit the smart audio signal on to the VTX guys. On to the back side of the VTX guys, as you can see here you have VBAT ground RX. So VBAT and ground is going to be 9 volt and ground. RX is going to the TX pin which is T2. Here 5 volt out and ground I am going to leave it for now so as to be able to connect another peripheral in my future videos guys. And then you have a video input pin here guys onto this VTX which is going to be connected to the video output. Here you can see this is the JST wire guys that came along with this VTX guys. So here is the same red wire and the black wire which you have is your 9 volt and ground. And then blue wire is for your telemetry. Red and black another pair is 5 volt output guys so I will leave that unconnected for now and then the last yellow wire is your video input pin so that is going to be connected onto VO of my flight controller guys so that is how guys I'm going to connect it now let's quickly solder these wires onto the flight controller guys as I have told you before guys so the red one goes to the 9 volt so that is where I'm going to connect it so my 5 volt is connected next one is my ground so the ground is the black wire guys so guys this is how my ground is connected now let's connect the video output which is yellow wire and the last one is the blue wire guys on to T2 so that is how we are going to connect it. So this is it guys. This is how you install all the four wires. I have connected the purple wire on to T2, red and black onto 9 volt and ground and the yellow to video output. So now since I have successfully connected all the wire guys, as you can see. So now let's quickly twist them so that they stay together and they do not mess up with other wirings in the future that I'm going to do. So now that we have twisted guys, I have kept another pair of black and red wire spare guys so as to be able to power another peripherals right from VTX which I have not bunched up right now here guys. So let's keep this aside. Now guys, let's push this JST onto the back side using this space that you have onto the front side of the drone frame as I'm going to install the VTX onto the back guys because onto the top of the stack guys it is not able to accommodate because of the thickness of this VTX guys and its heat sink so I will not be able to close the drone guys so I have decided to put the VTX onto the back side guys so I need this wire to be going on to the back right from here so once you push it guys onto the back you can see the JST coming out. So my JST is now outside guys. So here you can see in my previous video I have already installed the plastic nuts. So let's quickly remove them so that I can install the VTX onto the back side. And then guys also I will be replacing the plastic screws with the metal screws. So which is also going to be a upgrade guys as the plastic screws tend to get damaged very quickly. So I will not be able to hold this VTX onto its place tightly if I use this plastic screws. So I decided to use the metal screws. So 
now that we have removed all the plastic screws guys now let's quickly connect the vtx onto the jst here you can see guys here you have the pin diagram and also the jst pin here guys so let's quickly connect the jst which is coming out using the connection that it has so like this ensure that guys whenever you connect the jst you do not damage the jst pins inside guys as it will be difficult to manage thereafter because there is no soldering pads available onto this vtx guys so that is how i'm going to install now let's quickly push the screws from the front using the screwdriver so that they all are inside and your stack holds since all my four screws are there guys now i'm going to use the metal nuts so as to be able to tighten this stack up Also guys, since this VTX is touching onto the base of this carbon frame guys, so whenever it gets heated up guys, the heat will be distributed across the body of the drone frame guys, so as to keep this cool. So this is also something really nice guys, which I have done unique onto this drone frame. Now let's quickly tighten each of these nuts. You don't need to tighten them up too much guys, all the way, just enough to keep this stack at its place so this is it guys this is how you install the vtx now let's quickly connect the antenna wire guys so the antenna wire guys here you can see here you have mmcx connector guys and here you have the junction onto your vtx so as to be able to connect it let's quickly push this onto its side but before that guys i would want to move it from the front uh, so because here is where my final antenna will be installed onto the back side of the drone guys so i am going to first install this bigger side guys so as to push this wire from the front onto the back and then install it here onto the vtx so that is what i'm going to do guys so let's quickly do that so here you can see guys there is a nut onto the top let's remove the nut because that is how you are going to install this antenna onto the drone frame so remove the nut and then push this junction on to here like this push it all the way through guys so that it stays tight and straight so here you can see guys onto the back side it is coming out so we'll put the nut back so as to hold this antenna connector on to its place you can tighten this up as much as you can or using any tools that you have so i'm using here the plier guys so as to tighten this nut onto the front side guys so as to keep this antenna holder from moving during the flight or crashes so now since i have tightened this up the back side wire will go on to the back from here so here guys you can see i have put the vtx wire from the front onto the back and then i'm going to push it onto this connector that you have on to the side of your vtx guys so now since i have connected the wire guys here let's install the antenna as well just as a word of caution guys do not ever power your vtx without the antenna connected onto the junction guys this will immediately damage your vtx so ensure that guys whenever you power your vtx your antenna here is properly installed let's quickly install the antenna this is the antenna that i'm going to use this is an iflight 9 dbi gain your 5.6 gigahertz circularly polarized antenna from iflight that is what i'm going to use on to my drone frame here guys let's open the box 
so here you can see guys it is a circular antenna instead of a longer antenna that normally you see on the drones guys as it is circularly polarized so this is your 5.6 gigahertz antenna and it comes with this nuts so as to be able to install it in the correct direction either you can install this antenna directly like this guys but it is really impossible to do that so i'm going to use this nuts so as to be able to transform this junction at an angle so as to be able to install the antenna correctly so let's do that so we will connect like this So now since I have installed the angular connector guys, now I will install the antenna itself. So just like this. Onto the back side guys, here you have the nut so as to be able to install it onto the top of this antenna holder. All you have to do is place it onto the top and tighten this up. So this is how it is going to be installed onto the back side as you can see it is facing onto the bottom so whenever it is flying it has a circular projection onto the bottom so as to cover the wider area guys so and these are the uh, antenna holders for your RF signal guys so it will keep at its place so here is how you install the antenna onto the drone frame guys so this is it guys this concludes this tutorial on how to connect the vtx onto your flight controller and install the antenna as well in my future videos guys i will also be telling you how to connect the dvr and your camera connection and also in another video i will also tell you how to configure all of these in the firmware of this flight controller so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos so this is it guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.